Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sharif Mansour, the OAS chair here. I hope you're keeping safe during the, the pandemic and you and your loved ones are in good health. Uh, first off, as the OAS chair, I've made a commitment to the board this year to make sure that I work with each and every one of them on their ideas and their motions in order to um, implement positive change within the uh, community. And likewise, for the community, I'm committing to having an open dialogue. It's one of the reasons why I'm going to be doing these videos going forward. And just like one of seven board members, I am going to um, uh, be listening to you as well and bringing up motions as well. Um, I am also committing to be keeping my voice last and least within the board just to make sure that all of the seven voices are heard and to make sure that I work with them effectively. So on that note, I have some good news. So the next board meeting is uh, this Tuesday. I'll drop a link below uh, so you can attend. It's open to everyone. And yes, our global board meetings are open. They're on Zoom. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll send you the link. Just ch check it out. And if you'd like to attend, door is always open there. Um, one interesting motion that I'm interested uh, that I'm looking forward to discussing uh, on the board meeting um, is one by Jubin, and that is effectively to have gender neutral vocabulary within the OAS Foundation text. So that would be bylaws and policies and so forth. We'll be discussing it, and then at some point, we're voting on it as an e-vote, just so that we have enough time to have a conversation there, and the rest of the board are comfortable with how it's phrased. Um, Equally, um, we're trying to make things easier and less um, bureaucratic in the foundation. So as part of that, what we're trying to develop is this concept of um, consent packages or consent agendas. And those are routine in boards where they take routine or standard uh, approvals and just bundle them in a package where they're given to the board ahead of time and they're voted on without discussion. That just makes things a little bit easier and faster. Um, from from that side of things. So hopefully the board meetings uh, and the board, the board discussions will be also uh, faster and more efficient going forward because we don't have to think about those as much. They'll have the right guard layer, rails and oversight, but ultimately they'll be voted on as an e-vote or they wouldn't take up that much time during the actual board meeting. So we don't have to bore everyone with um, administrative issues as well. On that note, there's another bit of good news. Um, so as you know, 2020 has been pretty difficult year, uh, but membership is actually up, which means that we've had more people more interested in the OAS Foundation than we have in a very long time. In fact, in February 2000, uh, 2020, uh, we had about 2,800 members. I rounded it upwards just for simplicity, um, but um, in the, the latest numbers are, again, rounded up just for simplicity, but 3,500 members, which is amazing. And, and we're looking at different ways continuously to uh, make sure that you're getting, getting benefits from your memberships, that uh, we are uh, engaging the wider community better, and also thinking of fun and interesting things to collaborate within the community to further the mission as well. So um, I hope to keep um, uh, updates regularly. Uh, most likely the next one I'll do is after the board meeting, um, and I hope to keep them short and sweet and consistent. Um, so I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day um, and hope to uh, do the next one in about a couple of days. Thanks. Take care.